well well welcome to Falkenburg in the province of Limburg um, here in the Netherlands what is Falkenburg where are we here is the oldest tourist office of the Netherlands most Dutch people who do tourism in the Netherlands go to Falkenburg and why what is there in this kind of village well it is a very old town um, and it has very well preserved Roman ruins that you can visit it has museums there's a lot to see and also not only history and culture um, people just come here to the two theme parks that you have here next to Falkenburg or the baths the old baths where you can also bathe um, and restaurants, cafes yeah So I need to do some uh, advertisement here. If you're in Falkenburg, go to this shop. They just opened 10 months ago and uh, help them grow. It's a Spanish shop from Spaniards who speak Spanish and English. They do not speak Dutch and they are trying to grow here in the Netherlands. We had a very long, very nice conversation with them. They are very friendly. So don't doubt to come here if you are in Falkenburg so this is what we bought from the Spanish shop some croquetas which look like this tortilla and she also put some bread things but it looks very authentic yeah, yeah. so if we throw some hollandaise sauce here we have the name of our channel <laughs> so we have arrived to the first place that we're gonna visit the ruins of the castle so we need to go upstairs <coughs> well we just ate those uh, Spanish things the tortilla and the croquetas and they were amazing um, very authentic normally it's not typical to see that quality um, abroad but they where really like they have really authentic food well and that's the castle rune uh, it's from as you can see 12th 12th century <sighs> built by the lords of Heinsberg Heinsberg is a German place nearby well let's say if you go to Cologne it would be underway like in the middle so it was destroyed by the troops of uh, William the third and then yeah uh, when was that 17th century they destroyed it like the Dutch army destroyed the castle to prevent the French army from taking it So these are the remains of a tower from which they went through here and uh, on top they could see the enemy coming from very far away uh, that's why many nations kind of built castles on top of hills and uh, Falkenburg happens to be the only 
castle in the Netherlands that is built on top of a hill. But of course it also has to do with uh, the geological structure of the Netherlands. It's a very flat country and only the south, this part of the Netherlands, has a couple of hills. Like the highest point, the highest mountain in the Netherlands or hill uh, is close to Maastricht. Yeah and uh, the rest of the Netherlands is just flat. Unlike other countries, uh, it's very hard in the Netherlands to get a view like this. So, since we have one here, in this, on the top of this hill, I just need to film it because it's so strange to see this. This seems to be the main part of the castle, so where they had rooms and uh, yeah, where they might have received guests, important guests, of course, not peasants. Ah, yeah, this is the chapel. So where we are now is the chapel. <laughs> So I'm definitely not Indiana Jones, but at least I do show you some historical places. So that's enough for you. Subscribe. That's where the is. Mm -hmm. We find it quite amazing that we are, apart from two other tourists, we are the only ones here. So it's not crowded at all. It might get more crowded around noon when the tourists come. We are done with the runes. Now we want to go to another place that opens at half past ten. So it opened now. What was the name? The Roman Catacombs. The Roman ca Catacombs, yeah. So, uh, basically, yeah, where they buried people. Like, catacombs is where they bury people into a wall or something. Well, we'll see. A shop, previous shop, because it already closed, from our bird, Daisy. Now she's living with us. So, uh, we wanted to visit the catacombs, uh, but it's only through guided visits and they only have three per day and the first one at half past ten yeah, already started. The next one, by the way, we arrived at 10 to 11, so 20 minutes too late, but we didn't know anything. The next one, it's at half past 12 we'll we will see what we do mm, yeah now i think we just go to the fluvelengrot yeah fluvelengrot mm -hmm. it's a cave where they used to mine marl uh, because falkenberg is a place known for marl mining so we are gonna check it out or try to check it out if we do not need a visited guide. Yeah, and the rest, no idea how the day will develop. And it's already almost 11, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite beautiful here. 
so here we are the cave of marl okay so another correction apparently it's not marl it's velvet but i do know that yeah velvet but i do know that they mined marl here but this cave might be something else so unfortunately it's a guided tour which we didn't know um, yeah and uh, we don't like being so restricted to a group and a certain time but yeah it is what it is that's a dry zacht and sandrige steen and deel mensen think yeah fluweel zacht of fluweel ik hoop it's all so much Flint. You might know it from Minecraft. Um, shark tooth. And here they also used to mine marl. They used to hide in this cave during World War II uh, because it's a very big cave. Uh, with many rooms and very long, I think it was uh, nine kilometers, six kilometers, yeah, yeah. So very, very interesting. Een van zijn eigen familieleden hem te verraden bij het Franse leger. Meneer is opgepakt, gevangen genomen en daarna nooit meer teruggezien. So there's a lot of history about this cave. They are around 700 years old. So going outside. So we are out of those caves. We learned many things. They made paintings with coal there inside. Uh, very remarkable also because they only had a couple of candles as their only source of light and uh, yeah um, they didn't have many resources but uh, they did what they could and yeah so they hid there during World War II and soldiers would write their names and uh, draw their the the shadow of their heads with coal uh, very remarkable to see as well they also put up the americans put up a hospital there uh, around 1944 because yeah it was hard for the germans to find and uh, quite safe from invaders and yeah you just come out of the cave through the castle so now i guess we are gonna search for a place to eat and if we don't find anything we just go to that spanish place because the food was quite good yeah i think we're gonna eat at the spanish place everything looked delicious and the prices are quite okay for the Netherlands so this is the horchata my wife is trying it for the first time and it's been a while since I don't drink horchata myself so as you can see those are the meatballs um, they are in this kind of uh, yeah, package because normally it's to go uh, but yeah we are just gonna eat it here as you can see and uh, well of course the portions are a bit uh, smaller than in Spain um, but that's they adapted to the Netherlands so that's uh, the bread with tomato and olive oil and it's delicious because it's uh, authentic olive oil from Jaén they gave us the dessert this is some turon for free this is the crema catalana Catalan cream uh, and that's flan flan de huevo so egg flan egg pudding yeah looks delicious well we ate at that spanish place and had a very nice conversation not only with the owners also with a person inside 
like who was buying something who's from Andalusia and uh, yeah we talked a bit about life here um, he wants to return to Spain when he turns 60 uh, but until then he wants to remain here working because he kind of appreciates the stability and I mean the Netherlands is quite okay um, in terms of living for Spaniards because of course it's uh, not such a warm culture like the Spanish one but warmer than Germany so he said he had many he has many colleagues Spanish colleagues who used to live in Germany and they were like no um, I'll try somewhere else they tried uh, the Netherlands and they stayed here because it was like meh at least it's livable so very interesting to see you know those differences in cultures between two countries that are next to each other and yeah always nice to have those conversations with people and get to know other people socialize in general and yeah. now going back to the car because now it's getting a bit busy tourists are coming so we are going back before it gets too full well bye bye Falkenberg it was nice to see you but unfortunately we only did two out of four museums the other ones were the baths the public baths and uh, what else the other one the the Roman catacombs so that's those are the ones that we missed but yeah we didn't have a possibility to visit them either because of time or because of a uh, very trick time for a guided visit so yeah but all in all it was a great experience here and we really liked it so with that bye bye see you in the next vlog <laughs>